Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Chris here today and we are looking at another cigar here and this one here we are um, uh, going to do three uh, cigar reviews and one of these three is going to end up in, um, in this humidor here that has uh, all these cigars ready to go for you. We need two more. So we've got one here that we're going to review and uh, and then i've got the last one here uh, to fill in and it is um uh, the cigar that we are the next three cigars that we're going to be looking at um will potentially uh be the one to replace the ark of the covenant in the uh in the first uh, humidor so uh, whoever's name is drawn first gets the choice of uh, the one with the ark of the covenant or the other one that will be housing uh, this particular cigar uh, that we'll be reviewing uh, today and the next uh, the next three uh, the reviews. So today we are looking at the My Father Las Antilles, Florida Las Antilles. A beautiful, beautiful cigar uh, right out of Nicaragua. Just an absolutely stunning, stunning Maduro uh, cigar. The wrapper is unbelievable. Beautiful, dark, dark oily wrapper on this one. Um, the band too is, is an absolute work of art. Uh, yeah, just uh, absolutely love, love this cigar. Uh, had it a few times. I've had this particular uh, cigar sitting in my humidor uh, for almost two years. Uh, so it is really well uh, looked after, uh, loved, uh, enjoyed, and, uh, and humidified. So it is an absolute perfect, perfect condition. Uh, the length of this cigar here uh, is uh, six inches, and you can see that it is a box press uh, as well. So just a really, really, uh, just an enjoyable cigar to have. Like, it is just, it's beautiful. You're going to absolutely, absolutely love this one here if you if you choose it. So uh, what I'm going to be doing here with these uh, next three cigars is I will have uh, you guys choose the one that you want to have put in here. So... Uh, so, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is one of these ones here and I absolutely love this one. I think it is a very fair comparable, if not, uh, maybe even a little better than the, um, the, uh, uh, Ark of the Covenant, but I don't know about that. Like the Ark of the Covenant is just absolutely stunning, but, um, um, you can see that it's that this guy here is a, is a lot bigger than the Ark of the Covenant, but, uh, um, so you're going to have a longer smoke with this one, but not much because, uh, this, the Ark of the Covenant is actually a very, very, very big ring gauge cigar. So either way, uh, and both all, all three of these, uh, next cigars here that will be comparable to the Ark of the Covenant, uh, all have very different smoking uh, profiles to them but all unbelievably amazing. You're, you'll, regardless of whatever you guys choose, you're really, really, really going to like any one of these three cigars here that I've picked out here for you. So, um, and, uh, and you never know the other, the, uh, the two that aren't chosen may end up in my 1000th subscriber, uh, humidor. Cause I definitely plan on doing, uh, that for you once I get to a thousand subscribers. But, um, yeah, this cigar here, uh, the uh, the My Father, like I said, it's a six inch cigar, a box press, uh, 52 on the ring gauge, medium to full. Uh, when I originally got this cigar, it was definitely a full, full bodied cigar. But since it's been sitting in my humidor for about two years, uh, it has mellowed right out. I had one here just before Christmas time, and it is really, really, really just really nice. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful cigar. Um, so I would say it smokes now more onto a, a high medium uh, bodied cigar. Uh, and it is like uh, a dark uh, oily Maduro wrapper and it's right out of Nicaragua. The wrapper itself is an Ecuadorian Habano. Uh, the binder and filler are right out of uh, Nicaragua. And uh, it's, this cigar is like, they've got like the top top rollers on this one here like it is the skill required and to, to create this amazing cigar is insane so they have the best of the best rollers on this one here so it's really skillfully made down in Esteli Nicaragua um, and it's just 
just bursts with like crazy, crazy flavors, like rich, dark chocolate, espresso, earth, like cereal, like, you know, that honey nut cereal type flavors, but not like the sweet honey nut cereals. It's just that, that really toasted cereal type uh, flavors to it, uh, as well as some leather and hay in it. So just a really, really nice cigar, big smoke on this one. Um, I would pair this one here with like a really creamy type of a, of a scotch, um, uh, like a, uh, I don't know, like a, like a Glen Morangi or something like that, like a Nectar Dior, uh, or, a, or a, a really nice, uh, um, uh, Irish whiskey, like uh, like the Sexton here. I'll show you. Uh, just a just this, just a really 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 nice uh, nice Irish whiskey here. That would go really well with it. This uh, this particular whiskey here has got lots of notes of uh, of that that cereal uh, to it as well, and it's really really kind of creamy. Um, or or even just a really dark dark rich coffee would go really really well with this uh, cigar. So. Um, so yeah, so that's the uh, the my father, um, the um, uh, La Flor de las Atilles. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful cigar. Real work of art, like I said, on this uh, this cigar band. So if you're one of those collectors of art of cigar bands, you're really gonna like this one here. Uh, but just a really rich, dark, oily, oily Maduro wrapper. Just beautiful, beautiful. Like look at that oil on there. That's just that's amazing. Um, yeah, so you're gonna really, really, really like that one. So this one here could potentially be in here, and then we've got one more, and then we are giving away this humidor, guys. So um, yeah, let's take a look at what we've got in here so far. Um, so this cigar may end up in here. It all depends on you guys, whatever whatever you want. So we'll take it just a quick, quick run through here. We'll take these out here nice and gentle-like. Since these are no longer my cigars, as these belong to you. But my God, God, I am so excited for you guys. This is amazing. Like, look at all these cigars. Like, who wouldn't want something like this? I know I would. And I've even got them. <laughs> I still want it. It looks great. Uh, but here we go. We've got the um, the uh, Alec Bradley uh, Black Market Esteli, uh, the Torpedo. We've got the Rocky Patel A10, the Edge. That's a beautiful Corojo and Majuro wrapper. Uh, we've got the Brickhouse Mighty Mighty Majuro. Uh, the Drew Estate Isla de Sol Majuro. Uh, another one here from uh, La Perla and AJ Fernandez of 1515, uh, celebrating Cuba's uh, 50, 500 uh, anniversary of creating um, uh, handmade premium cigars. We've got the uh, CAO V660 Flathead and another box press, just a just a beautiful box press a Maduro cigar uh, for you there. And then we've got um, four of these just stunning cigars that would just go great in the morning or any time of the day, uh, starting with the uh, Cinco Vegas Gold, the Alec Bradley White Gold, the Buffalo Trace Robusto, and the Alec Bradley Coyo. Um, just absolutely beautiful cigars. Then we've got the, uh, this is a Lancero from Diesel, and it's the Unlimited Disciple. And then we've got the Knights Templar uh, from a Ava Maria. And then the next here we've got to put in here is the um, uh, Gurkha um, Black Ops, the Berserker. And then we've got another Ava Maria, beautiful, beautiful Argentum with a, just that crazy, crazy dark and oily uh, Maduro wrapper on that one. That's just absolutely stunning. And then we've got the uh, the Valkyrie from Man of War. And then the Avo Heritage. And Hanky Kellner was involved with this beautiful, beautiful cigar. Uh, and same with this one here. This is the Camacho Triple uh, Maduro. Uh, another one here from from Hanky Kellner, just uh, whatever that guy touches is just amazing. Uh, we've got the Cohiba uh, Connecticut, another really, really, really nice cigar here for you. Uh, and then the Rocky Patel, vintage 1992, another box press, 
beautiful uh, Majuro wrapper on that one again. Uh, we got the Asylum uh, 1350. Really, this is a really nice cigar. You guys are going to really like this one here. And uh, the Tatawahe uh, P Series Short Robusto. And the Cadwell. Just a beautiful, this is a nice, uh, nice cigar. Let's see if I can focus on this one here. There we go. Yeah, it's a really nice sun grown. It's the Eastern Standard here, guys. You're going to love this one here. Pete Johnson is amazing. And uh, then, um, then possibly this guy here. Uh, the three that I am going to be uh, putting, possibly putting in here for you, these are all made in really limited uh, quantities as well. So, so, so far, that is what we've got, potentially. Um, and um, depending on what you guys choose to for this guy here. But uh, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, please like and subscribe. There's going to be tons more stuff here to come. Um, yeah, lots and lots and lots of stuff here to go. And uh, and we'll be shortly after we give this guy away, we'll be working on our 1,000 subscriber humidor. So I'm going to need a lot of help with that one, guys. So I uh, appreciate everything. Um, take care. Please like and subscribe. And have a great day. Bye-bye.